Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What I'm going to do today is winterize my 2000 Kawasaki Concourse. So it's getting towards the latter part of November and it's actually minus five today. So it's time to uh, put the old bike away for the winter time. So I'll show you the steps that I do to uh, get her uh, put away for its sleep. So we can get down to the low uh, minus 30s here in uh, eastern Canada. So you always want to check your antifreeze to make sure it's at the uh, proper level and uh, temperature settings. You don't want your antifreeze to uh, freeze. So I've checked that and that's fine. So you also want to check your front and rear tires to make sure they're at the uh, right pressure. Mine are showing uh, 42 PSI and I've checked those and they're fine. Oh. A couple weeks ago, I actually uh, washed, chamois off, and then I uh, clay barred using the uh, Mother's California Gold. And then I washed the bike again, and then I used the Ultimate Compound, and then finished it up with the Ultimate Polish. And you always want to make sure your bike's uh, nice and polished and clean before it's put away. Just protects the uh, paint over the winter time from moisture. So for the seat. All your plastic trim and rubber and so on. I'm going to uh, use some original armor all. And it just helps protect it over the winter time. Stops it from uh, fading and cracking. So I'll do that actually just before I put the cover on. The uh, bike's going to be sitting till close to uh, the end of April. Latter part of uh, May. I'm going to put a fuel stabilizer in it. And I'm going to fill the tank up with uh, Supreme Fuel. This tank is a 7.5 gallon, so I'm actually going to have to uh, put three one ounces in it. So you fill it up just like that. So you want to put three of those in it, and then we will uh, fill up the tank. I actually went to the uh, gas station and got some gas. It's a little too cold to drive now. So the uh, bike's all filled up with fuel. I like to put the fuel stabilizer in and then put the gas in because when you're pouring the gas in, it helps mix up the stabilizer and you want to give your tank a good shake because I'm not going to be driving it anymore other than into the garage. And this is going to be a true cold start. Again, it's a minus five here. So we're going to need a little bit of choke and we're going to let the bike run for probably five minutes or so. I want to make sure the uh, fuel stabilizers all through the uh, fuel system, carbs and whatnot. So we'll give it some choke. Warming up, I'm actually gonna take off the saddlebags for the winter time, put them in the house. That way it's less to bang into in the garage. should also uh, mention before you put a bike away or any power equipment, you always want to make sure you change the oil and filter for the winter time. My oil and filter was done about 300 kilometers ago and the rear differential was also uh, done at the same time. So it's got a fresh oil and filter and rear diff uh, fluid in it. So that's fine. So what I'll typically do before I put the uh, bike away is I'll actually uh, run the carbs dry. So... I'm going to turn the uh, fuel off. This is the fuel petcock here. So you want to put it in the off position and then run your uh, bike till it uh, stalls. Again, this is a personal preference, but I've always had the best luck doing this. And I do the same thing to uh, tractors, uh, generators, uh, four wheelers and whatnot. And in the uh, springtime, you don't have any... Uh, fuel gumming up and whatnot in your uh, carbs and uh, fuel lines from sitting all winter. Even though I do have stabilizer in it, I'm probably fine without doing this, but I've always done this and never had any issues. So let's get the bike started again and let her uh, shut off.
the next step is to get the battery out of the bike. Now I've had this on a uh, battery uh, tender. Well, I haven't been using it, so I know that the battery is fully charged, but I'm going to put it in heat, heated storage for the winter time. So to get to the battery, it's just underneath the seat. All right, the battery's all out. Let's get the seat on. Get the cover on, just make sure your uh, bike's nice and uh, cool down before you put it on. Cover's all on, I'll pull it down a little bit over the uh, back of the exhaust. One thing I found with the cover, it's a little short to get over the uh, front tire. And I don't want to put a lot of stress on the, the uh, front fender because they're plastic. So I used a uh, microfiber cloth. Just put some tape around it underneath the uh, fender. That way, if I'm trying to get in uh, the back of my garage, I'm not banging into the uh, little corner of the uh, front fender there. there go. She's all the way for the uh, winter time till hopefully uh, mid-May of uh, 2021. But it's all protected. Fluids changed, batteries out, and uh, whatnot. So I hope this helps a few people out there. Again, this is a 2000 Kawasaki Concourse. It's a, also known as a ZG1000. And the next step is to uh, get the old four-wheeler 100% for the winter time. Anyways, I really appreciate you uh, checking the video out. Hope this helps uh, some of you out there. If it does, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And any questions or comments, leave them below or tips for other uh, viewers. And I hope to uh, see you on uh, future videos. Take care.